The Hunter and the Doves Once upon a time, a flock of doves was searching for food. After flying a long distance, the doves were tired. Just then, one of the doves saw some rice grains scattered under a banyan tree. All the doves were happy to find food and came down to the ground to eat. As soon as they began to eat the grains, a net fell over them. They were trapped. The doves fluttered their wings desperately. They tried to come out of the net but could not. Just then, they saw a hunter coming towards them. He was happy to find so many doves trapped inside the net. The flock of doves was very frightened and did not know what to do. However, one of the doves was very intelligent. He thought of a plan. He said, To free ourselves, we must all fly up together, holding the net in our beaks. There is strength in unity. Now, let us fly. Hearing the intelligent dove's plan, each dove picked up a bit of the large net in its beak. They flew up together, carrying the net with them. The hunter was surprised to see the birds flying away along with his net. He ran after the birds but could not catch them. Soon they flew high over hills and valleys, far out of his sight. When the intelligent dove saw that the hunter had given up chasing them, he said to his friends, Now we have to get out of this net. A mouse lives on the nearby hill. He is a good friend of mine. Let us go to him for help. They flew to the hill where the mouse lived along with the net. When the mouse heard the loud noise of the dove's wings, he was frightened and hid himself deeper into his hole. The intelligent dove said, Dear friend, I have come to you for help. We are in great difficulty. Please come out and help us. Hearing the voice of his friend, the mouse came out of his hole and saw the doves trapped in the net. He cried out, Oh, who has done this to you? The doves explained the whole story to the mouse. They told him that they needed him to nibble on the net and set them free. The mouse immediately started nibbling at the net. One by one, all the doves became free. They thanked the mouse. Happily, they flew away to look for food again.